Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to talk about the basic functions of a multimeter, but we're only going to be discussing the multimeter as it applies to checking for voltage when it comes to solar applications. There's many different types of multimeters, but they all work pretty much the same. Okay, let's talk about some of the functions of the multimeter here. First, we're going to talk about where to plug the leads in. Down here, you can see where to plug those in. On this one, you can see they're all red. On this other one I have over here, you can see there's a red and the black. Reason I'm pointing this out is because when you do the leads, you take the black negative, okay? And the black negative always goes in the com, all right? I just have a habit of calling it com, so I will. Comms is where the black goes, always, regardless of what color it may be there. You simply take it and you plug it in. The next lead we're going to talk about is the red. Of course, it's positive. It goes into the one that has the V for a volt and the little horseshoe there, which is an omega symbol. Always, you're going to put it in there when you're doing just volts. And your same thing. Take it, just plug it in. They are now plugged in. This is the basic setup for how you check volts with a multimeter. Same thing will happen on this one. Comms will be your black. And then you can still see the volts, little horseshoe symbol, which means omega. And, of course, it will have hertz there. And some of these will be different, but black is always comms. Red will almost always be your volts. And you can see they're plugged in. Let me show you another important point when it comes to checking volts for your solar. On this inexpensive one here, I don't know if I mentioned this one to you. This is an inexpensive Harbor Freight multimeter. Only costs a couple dollars. So it's always nice to have one or two around the house. And sometimes if you use a coupon and buy some other things, you can get these for free. Always nice to have a couple around. Okay, so here you see DCV which means your DC volts. On this side, you'll have DCA, which simply means this is your AC. Okay? Now, they did send a manual with this. It's always good to read the manual. But the reason I'm walking through this is here's a copy of it. It is small. It doesn't explain things very well. If you can read it and use it, that's always a good idea. If not, well, that's why we're walking you through some of it. Okay, now look at this one. This is set up just a little bit different, but basically the same thing. Here, though, where you have your DC, and you can tell because the little V for volts and the straight line. Straight line means DC. Down here at the bottom, it has volts again, the V, but the wiggly line means AC. So that's another important thing, regardless of what kind of multimeter you get. They'll either say it like this small one does, or it will give you the symbol. Okay, so, little indent there, so you can see it's pointing up this way and pointing toward the 20. Now, we're going to take a look at some of these batteries. We're going to turn it on, make sure it comes on. You have your zero, zero, so hopefully you can see that. And we're going to take some of these batteries. Here is a little 9 volt. As you can see, it says a plus, and here you can see it says a minus. So we're going to set it up like that. Plus, of course, is going to be red. Black's going to be minus. I'm going to put those in there. Hopefully you can see that. So this battery is at 7.38. It's a 9 volt. So it is still good, but it is has been drained some. Now it'll be important to know. We'll take them off. Let it go back to zeros. Take a little battery here. Do the same thing. Put positive and negative. This is 1.60. All right, so that means this one is fully charged. Now, let's take a battery that we're going to use for solar, such as this one right here. Deep cycle, regular wet lead acid battery. We're going to check it. So we're going to take the red and put it on the positive, And we're going to take the black and put it on the negative. And as you can see, it says 12.86. 12.86. So this one has a pretty good charge. It's not entirely charged up, but it is charged. And this will tell you 
the voltage of your battery. Because remember, shoestring says if it gets to 12.1, stop. And those are the basic functions of a multimeter when it comes to solar. If you have any questions, any of the other functions, I can explain them to you, but they won't really matter much when it comes to solar. But if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 